Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell at Tesla's 2025 shareholder meeting, officially revealing the new capabilities of the Optimus Gen 3. Optimus is no longer a concept. It's already walking through Tesla's offices, charging itself, and performing real human tasks with stunning precision. From folding laundry to cooking meals, Optimus Gen 3 marks a historic turning point in robotics. Hey guys, Alfie here. Welcome back to AI Nexus. Optimus is evolving faster than anyone expected, and Tesla says Gen 3 will officially be showcased next year, marking a major step toward bringing a humanoid robot into your home. Musk also confirmed that production is ramping up fast, with a target price of around $20,000, roughly the cost of a small car. Here are the five biggest upgrades that make Optimus Gen 3 Tesla's most ambitious creation yet. Optimus robots are literally roaming through hallways autonomously, doing their thing, and when their battery gets low, they just stroll over to a charging station like it's the most natural thing in the world. No human supervision, no emergency stop buttons, just robots living their best robot life. Musk is saying that your home is about to have one of these self-sufficient humanoid machines, not in some distant sci-fi future. Production is ramping up right now. Now, before you think this is just vaporware hype, I need to get really specific about capabilities because this is absolutely staggering. Tesla has demonstrated Optimus handling an egg without cracking the shell. Think about the precision required for that. These robots are picking up individual pieces of popcorn and serving them delicately. They're performing controlled kung fu movements that showcase balance most humans would struggle with. But here's where it gets wild. As of Q3 2025, Optimus is folding laundry with human-level dexterity. And I cannot stress enough how insanely difficult that task is from an engineering perspective. Wiping kitchen surfaces, manipulating cooking utensils with care, picking up trash and sorting it correctly, and navigating complex indoor environments completely untethered. No cables, no remote operator, just pure autonomous operation powered by real-time AI. So when we talk about cooking your dinner, folding your laundry, and taking out the trash, we're not spinning fantasy scenarios. These capabilities are documented, tested, and operational inside Tesla facilities right this second. Tesla's already running a pilot line at the Fremont factory building development units. At the 2025 shareholder meeting, Musk laid out a three-phase roadmap that escalates so fast it'll make your head spin. Phase one is line one in Fremont targeting one million units per year. That's the starting point. One million humanoid robots annually from a single line. Phase two jumps to 10 million units per year at Giga Texas, a 10 times capacity increase. And phase three? Musk joked about a 100 million per year line potentially on Mars, but then added with a straight face that they're targeting 100 million to potentially 1 billion units per year worldwide long-term. If Optimus could do one thing perfectly for you every day, what would it be? Drop it below. Musk is talking about producing more Optimus robots than there are vehicles on the entire planet and doing it in a fraction of the time. He's claiming this will be the fastest production ramp of any large, complex manufactured product ever, leveraging every ounce of Tesla's EV manufacturing expertise. We're talking about industrial scaling at a pace humanity has never attempted for something this sophisticated. Now, there's a philosophical framework underlying all of this that actually makes terrifying sense. The backdrop at the 2025 shareholder meeting literally displayed sustainable abundance. And this isn't just corporate messaging. Musk's core argument. If Optimus robots can perform the majority of physical labor cheaply and continuously, working 24-7 with precision humans physically cannot match, then the cost of goods and services collapses. He's projecting we can increase the global economy by a factor of 10 or even 100, with no obvious ceiling. Musk genuinely believes this pathway could eliminate poverty by making goods and services so inexpensive that basic needs become trivially affordable. But here's where things get properly cyberpunk and emotionally intense. The Neuralink Optimus integration opens up possibilities that sound like science fiction, but are actually on the official roadmap. Neuralink has already demonstrated their brain-computer interface allowing a paralyzed individual to control a computer cursor purely through thought. That technology is real and working in human subjects right now. Extrapolate forward. Musk has stated explicitly that people with Neuralink brain chips will eventually achieve full body control and sensory feedback from a Tesla Optimus robot. 
You're not just piloting it remotely, you're inhabiting it. Feeling through its sensors, experiencing texture and temperature, moving through physical space. In more speculative thinking, Musk has floated the idea that in 20 plus years, we might approximate or upload aspects of consciousness into an Optimus body, creating digital continuity for people facing terminal illness or severe physical decline. Whether that's achievable remains an open question, but the Neuralink Optimus integration for disability assistance? That's happening on the engineering timeline. Speaking of timelines, Musk literally described this as an infinite money glitch, and the economic implications are bonkers. His logic is brutally simple. Once humanoid robots can perform nearly all productive physical work, the economy is no longer constrained by human labor hours. Traditional economics treats labor as fundamentally scarce. There are only 24 hours in a day. Humans need sleep and breaks. But what happens when you have millions of robots operating 24-7, 365 with higher precision, lower error rates, and operational costs that boil down to electricity and maintenance? The constraint breaks. You're only limited by how many robots you can manufacture and how much energy you can generate. But here's the real talk about engineering challenges, because building these things is hard. Musk identified the hand and forearm as the single greatest electromechanical challenge in the entire project. He literally said this component is more difficult than the entire rest of the robot. We have 27 bones in each hand, 34 muscles controlling movement, thousands of nerve endings. Replicating that in a machine that can handle eggs without cracking them but also grip 50-pound objects? Engineering nightmare involving materials science, motor control algorithms, sensor fusion, and real-time force feedback. Musk outlined the three hardest problems. Achieving human-level hand dexterity, developing real-world AI that handles messy, unstructured environments, and manufacturing at scale using a supply chain that basically doesn't exist yet. These aren't trivial challenges solved with one breakthrough, but Tesla is betting they can crack them through rapid iteration and manufacturing expertise from scaling EV production. Speaking of iteration, we're looking at an annual release cycle mirroring the smartphone industry. The robot at the 2025 shareholder meeting was Optimus version 2.5. Here's the roadmap. Optimus 3 enters production in 2026. Optimus 4 targets. 2027. Optimus 5 slated for 2028. Each generation brings improved mechanics, better materials, more sophisticated AI. This is year-over-year -year compounding improvement. We went from the first iPhone to facial recognition and conversational AI in a decade. Now apply that innovation rate to humanoid robots. The Optimus in your home in 2030 will be radically more capable than today's version. Here's where everything clicks economically. At the 2025 shareholder meeting, Musk revealed a concrete cost target that changes the entire equation. Approximately $20,000 per unit at scale. Tesla's official Optimus account confirmed, Our goal is $20,000 COGS per robot at scale. Expected retail pricing falls between $20,000 and $30,000. Roughly a mid-range car or less than annual rent in major cities. For a humanoid robot that works 24-7, performs household chores, provides disability assistance, and could replace human labor in countless applications, that price point is game-changing. We're not talking luxury items for tech billionaires. We're talking robots as common as refrigerators, potentially with financing options making them accessible to average households. Would you actually buy a $20,000 Tesla robot for your home, or is this future moving too fast? Let us know in the comments. We're reading every single one. So, bottom line, Optimus robots are already operational, walking autonomously through Tesla facilities. They can cook, fold laundry, handle delicate objects with human precision. Production lines are scaling from 1 million to potentially 100 million units yearly in what's being called the fastest manufacturing ramp in industrial history. The vision is sustainable abundance, using cheap robotic labor to eliminate poverty. Neuralink integration could give people with disabilities full robotic body control. The $20,000 price target makes these affordable for average households. Long-term goal is tens of billions of units, potentially one robot per person globally. 
and Musk's trillion-dollar package depends entirely on hitting these targets, meaning Tesla is betting its entire future on this. Do you think robots replacing human labor will create abundance or chaos? Comment your take. I want to see where you guys stand on this. We're watching the robotic revolution unfold in real time. This isn't speculative futurism. Production has started, the technology works, and the price point is finally achievable. But if you think Optimus is leading the future, wait until you see what Xpeng just revealed. A humanoid so realistic it's making people question what's human and what's machine. This week, Xpeng introduced Iron, a female humanoid robot designed to move and respond with striking human realism. She's not just built to walk, she's built to connect blending engineering precision with natural, human-like grace. Meanwhile, Norway's startup Physical Robotics introduced the Pi Robot, an upper-body system built for industrial precision and safety, where we explore how artificial intelligence is rapidly reshaping the future of robots and the world around us. November 5th, Xpeng's AI Tech Day in Guangzhou, China. In front of a packed audience, Xpeng revealed its latest creation, a female humanoid robot named Iron. She walked onto the stage smoothly and naturally, with movements that closely mimicked a real person. It wasn't flashy or exaggerated, just quietly impressive, showing how far Xpeng's robotics has come. Let me tell you why this female Iron robot is the biggest deal in humanoid robotics right now. Xpeng didn't just build a machine that walks. They created something that moves with genuine femininity and grace. 5 foot 7, 154 pounds, and every single curve, every movement pattern, every detail was engineered to be distinctly human. We're talking soft 3D lattice structures that create natural body curves, soft sensory skin that wraps the frame. And yes, the internet absolutely noticed that Xpeng took what they're calling a well-rounded approach to posterior design. The engineers knew exactly what they were doing. But here's where it gets absolutely mind-blowing. That catwalk entrance wasn't just for show. The way Iron walked demonstrates something revolutionary happening inside that frame. Human-like spine movement that creates natural upper body motion. Hip articulation that produces that crossing step gait real models use. This required insane engineering because humans don't walk in straight lines. We shift weight. We rotate our core. Our movements are fluid and asymmetric. Xpeng nailed it. The hands are where things get truly staggering. Next generation hands using tiny harmonic joints to achieve 22 degrees of freedom. Think about your own hands for a second. The way you can grip a coffee cup, type on a keyboard, pick up a paper clip, adjust your grip on a steering wheel. All those subtle movements require incredible coordination. Iron can do all of that. Pinch, rotate, grasp delicate objects, manipulate tools. The dexterity here is honestly scary good. Now let's talk about what's powering this beautiful machine. Xpeng packed three in-house Turing AI chips into iron, delivering a staggering 2,250 tops of computing power. For everyone wondering what that actually means, imagine enough processing muscle to handle real-time factory assembly while using vision language action models. This robot sees the world through cameras understands spoken or written commands, and takes immediate action based on context. She's not just following pre-programmed routines. She's thinking and adapting in the moment. But here's the crazy part about the female iron design. This isn't just aesthetics. Xpeng deliberately created a feminine form because they're targeting specific commercial applications where appearance and approachability matter. Think about walking into a premium car showroom would you rather be greeted by a clunky industrial robot or a graceful, well-dressed humanoid who moves naturally? Xpeng's betting everything that the answer is obvious. Iron will introduce cars to customers at XPENG stores. She'll serve as a receptionist, tour guide, personal assistant in high-end commercial spaces. The female form factor makes human-robot interaction feel less intimidating and more welcoming and the customization options are absolutely next level. You can configure iron to be male or female depending on your needs. Different faces, different builds, different presentation styles. 
Xpeng built a platform, not just a single robot. This modular approach means businesses can tailor their robots to match brand identity and customer expectations. Fashion retail? Female iron with elegant movements. Tech conferences? Male iron with a professional bearing. The skeleton muscle skin structure stays the same, but the exterior presentation adapts. The tech innovations keeping iron running are seriously impressive. Bionic muscles that contract and extend like real human tissue. Soft sensory skin embedded with touch sensors, so she can feel when someone shakes her hand or taps her shoulder. And here's something wild. Iron uses a solid state battery that's 30% lighter with 30% more capacity than traditional batteries. This means she can work longer shifts without needing to recharge or plug in. The engineering here pulls directly from Xpeng's electric vehicle expertise. They know batteries, they know power management, and they're applying every lesson. The reaction to the female iron has been absolutely explosive online. Videos of her runway walk went viral instantly. People are calling it the most human-like robot movement they've ever seen. And honestly, they're not wrong. But Xpeng's vision extends way beyond just iron. They announced three robo-taxi models launching in 2026 for level four autonomy trials partnering with Volkswagen. Self-driving cars that need zero human intervention in specific conditions. Updates to flying car projects. Advanced driver assistance software. Xpeng is building an entire integrated ecosystem. Robots greeting you at stores. Autonomous vehicles driving you home. Flying cars potentially handling your commute. This is the comprehensive future they're betting billions on. Now here's a wild card in the humanoid robot race that deserves attention. Physical Robotics, a Norway-based startup, just emerged from stealth with $4 million in funding and their Pi robot. Founded by Dr. Fuang Nguyen, the guy who invented the EVE robot at 1X Technologies, Physical Robotics takes a completely different approach. The Pi robot is upper body only, no legs, just torso, arms, and incredibly sensitive hands with 16 degrees of freedom each. But here's what makes it relevant. While Xpeng focuses on beautiful commercial interactions, physical robotics targets dull, dirty, and dangerous industrial jobs. Are we ready for robots that look this real, move this naturally, and integrate this seamlessly into our spaces? That's the question nobody can fully answer yet. But Xpeng's female iron just raised the bar impossibly high. When a robot can walk onto a stage with that kind of presence and movement, we've crossed into territory that feels genuinely unprecedented. The future isn't coming. She just walked out in Guangzhou with hips swaying and the world watching. And honestly, I can't look away.